Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be changing my disc rotor. So this is my ride to work bike. It's a on one, four, five, six carbon frame. I have been riding it now for the last two plus, maybe coming on three years. Been very, very reliable. And the disc rotor on the back, which we are planning to look at, that's been on there since I built the bike. So the brakes on this bike are Hope Mono Minis with sawtooth disc rotors, 160 at the back and 180 at the front. So this is the disc rotor I'm planning to change. As you can see, there's all the grit and muck from the trails and the canal path. We have a look at with the vernier campers just to see how much has worn, but I think even with a visual examination and uh, the fingernail test, they look a bit past it really. So these are the vernier calipers that I'm going to be using. Um, they're not ideal for the job uh, because I think I have a ridge on my disc and so the ridge will get in the way and give me a false reading. Zero the caliper, move it in and out, move it back again. It should hopefully go back to zero. So I had a look around on the internet and I found on velonews.com the tolerances for Hope's discs. And this is what I have on the bike. And they say here that um, 140 millimeter diameter to 160 floating discs, the minimum recommended ro rotor thickness is 1.4. They start off as new as 1.6 millimeter plus or minus 0.5 millimeter when new. Um, but they do say here for all the rest of Hope discs, which means the plain steel disc, and actually, which is what I do have on this bike, the minimum thickness is 1.5. So let's see what we have. So I've just moved the bike into my little workshop area. I have my torque spanner and of course I have the vernier calipers to see if we can get this working. So we're just going to turn this bike upside down and see how we get on. I'm beginning to think I really should have cleaned this bike before I attempted this job. Um, since I rode it yesterday in all that rain, let's lift the wheel out. Rip going everywhere. Okay, so that's the wheel off, and on close inspection, there's definitely a ridge here and a ridge on the top of the disc, and also on the other side. I can feel that with my fingernail. Um, that's also that's the first indicator that um, a disc is worn. The old fingernail test, definitely a ridge there, definitely. Now, this is the top of the rotor, and this would not have been touched by the brake pad. Here, I don't know if you can see. It's, it looks a lot thinner. Okay, let's remove the rotor. These screws move on that one's first. That's moved, oh, that's good. Stop being too hard. Always is a worry that if you leave bolts in for more than a year, they're not gonna come out all that easily. And there's always one, so I've got Six chances here, and they're all pretty good. So that's, that's a relief. Okay. One worn rotor. It's quite flat on the surface, but it's definitely a ridge towards the end here. And of course, the obvious mark here with the end of the rotor is. So, um, on the other side of the disc, again, a ridge here, definitely a step up here. Okay, so with the vernier calipers, let's see what we've got on the outside. 1.8 ish. That's what Hope said it would be. Now, let's see what it is on the thinner part. I think we're down to maybe as low as 1.4, 1.45, 1 1.4. I mean, there's obviously my hand shaking here, so I can't get it totally accurate. I think that's um, outside their tolerances. Yes, I think I need to change the disc. So this is the disc I'm going to replace it with. It's a Hope floating disc, probably overkill for a ride to work bike. I have used it before, as you can see, and one of the reasons I took it off because 
all these um, mounts had loosened off and it created this rattling noise which really was quite annoying just thought I'd just have a quick measure to see what it is before I put it back on the bike and it seems to be coming in at about 1.68 so there's still life left in this disc and yeah have a second life on my work point okay so let's put the new disc on the wheel Just bring them down so it's just creating tension on each of the screws. Don't want to tighten them up just yet, just to make sure we get this all even. There you go, so get that one a tweak, go to the opposite, move around, go to the opposite, give it a tweak, go to the opposite. Do that and just go round one more time. So the, you know, not, you don't want to over tighten these. Um, just but you can just make sure they're firm. Yeah, should be good to go. Right, ready to put back onto the bike. So thank you for watching, I hope you found this video useful. This disc is now going in the bin, and now I have to clean up my mess. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like it more, please subscribe, and look forward to joining me on future videos.